Welcome to our configuration tutorial, where we'll explore the behind-the-scenes functionality and customization of your Smile 2.0 Photo Booth software. Today we're going to walk you through how to access and navigate the secure configuration utility, and then walk you through some of the changes for your first-time setup. First, let's show you how to access the configuration application. While your Attract Mode video is playing, tap the 6 o'clock position on the screen repeatedly. You'll see a keypad pop up on the upper left-hand corner of your monitor. Next, enter the default PIN number, which is included inside of your user manual, followed by OK. Note, there are three separate configuration modes, each controlled by a separate PIN number. First is configuration, which we'll review with you today. The second mode, service, allows operators to enter service credits. And lastly, meter, which should be accessed when collecting money from the photo booth. Navigating the configuration application is quite simple. You can see the category tabs across the top and the subcategories down the left hand side. There is a slide bar on the right hand side to scroll up or down within each screen. To toggle a feature on or off, simply press either side of the button. To use a selection box, simply touch it and select the appropriate option from the options displayed. Hit apply to save or close to cancel. To enter text, touch the text box and a keyboard will appear for text entry. Hit enter to exit. To enter a number, use either the minus or the plus buttons on either side of the number. To change the time, touch the appropriate box and adjust as necessary. Once you've finished making any changes, it's always helpful to hit apply changes. This will prevent you from losing any changes in the event the configuration times out, which will occur after about 60 seconds of inactivity. Once you've completed making all of your changes, you can touch Save and Exit to exit the configuration application and return to the Photo Booth Attract mode. Of course, if you don't want to save any changes you've made, you can always touch Exit without saving. Now that we've reviewed general navigation, let's go through some common changes necessary to take full advantage of the features of Smile 2.0. Let's start with the General Settings tab. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can select the location of your bill acceptor on your machine. This will change the video in your Attract mode to instruct customers where to put their money. Next, touch the Location Settings button. Enter your location name, location type, booth type, operator name, and operator phone number. Here, you can even calculate location revenue split information. Now that we've made some changes, let's hit Apply Changes so we don't lose any information. The Security tab allows you to change your three access PIN numbers. Touch the box, enter your current or default password, and select Change Password. Next, enter your new access password and confirm your new access password. Then, hit save. Follow the same procedure for change service credits and change meter report passwords. For camera setup, simply touch camera settings tab. If video preview does not appear, select camera dropdown and select appropriate camera. Once video preview appears, you can adjust zoom accordingly. Your payments methods tab allows you to turn on or off your primary money acceptor, your secondary money acceptor, as well as your credit card reader. The next tab, pricing, is where you can toggle free play on or off and adjust any one of the product prices within your photo booth. Under the volume control tab, you can adjust the theme and voice volume by touching the meter. 
Now let's move to the Programs category. Here you'll see each unique program listed down the left hand side of your screen. You can turn each one of these programs off which will make it completely invisible to the photo booth customer or change the position where they appear on the screen. Under Video Message you can turn the video on or off or change the recording time. Under the Email and Facebook subcategories you can enter a custom subject line, message, message signature. This is a great tool for marketing purposes. Moving to the next category, Reports, enables the ability for the photo booth to send automated reports. To begin, simply enter an email address in the Email Reports to field, toggle Audit Reports to On, and select whether you want daily, weekly, or monthly reports and the time you want the report sent. When complete, select Schedule and Save, select Yes to the pop-up, and repeat if necessary for the email capture report and or the media report. Under the Timing and Upsell category, operators have the option to completely turn off the upsell screen of their photo booth. They can also increase or decrease timeout times within each screen once the photo booth is running. Event planners can also limit the number of additional prints offered in the upsell screen from this screen. And finally, the last tab is Help. If you're ever experiencing difficulties with your photo booth, it's a good idea to start with returning all of your photo booth settings to default. This can be achieved by touching this first button. Just remember, you'll have to adjust your settings afterwards. The other button you may need is the Email Service Data button. If you are indeed experiencing problems with your booth, push this button and it will automatically send your error logs to our tech support staff. And that's it. Let's save our changes by hitting Save and Exit. And we're back into the photo booth application. We hope you enjoyed your configuration tutorial for FacePlace's exciting Smile 2.0 software. This session was just meant as a general overview and photo booth operators should spend time and familiarize themselves with all of the photo booth's operations. If you have any other questions, please contact technical support via phone or by emailing techsupport at faceplacephoto.com.